I don't really use those either that much because I'm not a battle strategist to anything. I like just using super effective moves and stuff like that, but what's in here? I don't really want to go into all these buildings, but I'm going to see what this guy has to say. I can't run in here? Dang it. <laughs> okay, Devlon Corporation's workers live in here, so maybe I should explore. Because I think they're an important company or something. Oh, this is the person. Um, my daddy's working at the corporation. My daddy made this. Oh, it's a premiere ball. I think that was one of those balls on the Jay Witz videos that's completely useless. Um, the only reason why it's it's like the same thing as a Pokeball basically, except um, it's just it just looks different. So it's kind of silly, but maybe I can catch a uh, Nincada and just to have it. Why does Devon's president not live in here, though? And president's son also collects rare stones. Okay. I don't really care, but... Oh, wait. I think that might be important because of the stones later in the game. Like the... The ruby and the... Maybe it's not in this game, but I thought it was. Um, when you get the ruby and the sapphire or whatever. Or maybe that you don't get a ruby and a sapphire. I have no idea. Maybe that's in Fire Red and Leaf Green. When I get bigger, I'm going to go places with Pokemon. Good for you. I don't know where I'm going, so I'm just going to go around this building. A very tall building. Pokemon Trainer School. I think they give me something in here, so I'm going to go in. I'm not sure if the students battle with me, but... I'm going to see what this guy has to say. What? Oh. <laughs> Quick Claw. Oh gosh. Oh, he gave me a quick claw. Okay, I was like, he's hitting them with a quick claw? Pokemon holding quick claw will get to move before its opponent. So I'm not sure. I'm going to just probably give that to my slowest Pokemon because if your Pokemon's not holding a held item, it's basically useless. Well, not useless, but I don't know. Oh, who lives in here? I have no idea. Um, who are you? No, I, I probably shouldn't talk to all these people. I should probably just head straight through. But this is kind of a part of a playthrough. You gotta talk to people and find out things. Even though I know most of the people don't have much information on what to do. Um, Cutter's house. Okay. Oh, this must be the guy who teaches cuts. So, maybe. I don't know. All trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. Okay, so he's gonna give me cut, not teach me cut. Okay, that's good. So now I can just use it whenever I have. I might just. I don't know, I'm trying to think. I might, um. No, never mind. I was thinking I could teach Ninjask cut when, um. When Ninkata evolves into Shed Ninja. And, um. Do I have an open Pokeball? Do I? Let me. These controls are so confusing. Dang it. Okay. Do I have a free Pokeball? Because I'm going to need one. Okay, I definitely do. So I'm going to get out of here. This is very difficult. These controls are making me upset. Um. Okay, where am I even going? I should probably head into this building. Is there even a gym in this town? I'm not sure. I would like to rest my Pokemon though, so let's do it. Rustboro, that makes me think of like stone or like steel type. Because rust and steel, I don't know. Hopefully it's steel type. I have no idea though. So I if if it even if there even is a gym here. Okay, here's one. <laughs> rock sand. Okay, so it's rock type. That's sweet. Um so I'll be able to beat it basically no problem. Oh, is this Devon Corporation? Okay. What's in here? This guy? Those running shoes, they're one of our products. Yeah, it would make me happy too. Let's see. Hello and welcome to Devon Corporation. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you twice. I hate it when I do that. Stop. Okay. Oh, okay, this guy's not going to let me through. I'm sorry, only authorized per personnel are allowed through here. I'm going to head back through this door. And maybe I'll just challenge the gym leader right now. Have I challenged a gym leader yet? I can't remember. I don't think I have been able to. Oh, this is Route 116. I'm pretty sure this is the route where Nincata's on, so... I'm gonna have to go there as soon as I'm done with the- uh, I could just head straight to the- I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. But I'm pretty sure this is the route 
just to the right here, but I don't know. I kind of want to train my bug Pokemon at the gym, but I kind of don't at the same time. So I'm just going to challenge the gym, because why not? Don't take us gym trainers lightly. Yeah, I, I do, because you guys aren't that strong. So, screw you. Well, it looks like they are a little strong. Maybe I should come back with an Incata, because I could just send out... Oh, what? Why did I just use Tackle? That was stupid. <laughs> oh, use Tackle back. Good job. Okay, Water Gun. Let's try that. That'll work a little better. It'll, it should be double super effective, actually. There we go. So I think I'm going to go catch an Incata and come back, so... <laughs> That might be good. Youngster Josh, yay. Where's Youngster Joey anyway? I think I might have already passed that guy. <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm gonna go catch a Ninkata because I forgot that the gym Pokemon trainers or whatever are pretty strong, so... Hopefully I'll run into one pretty quick here. No, it's a Wizmer. Dang it, I want a Ninkata. I don't care about you. And then I can always train it in, like, with trainer battles and things like that, too. But I want to get my Shed Ninja as soon as I can, so, uh, let's, I actually want to, oh, <laughs> I'll run around the grass first, I think, and try to, ooh, it might be good, nah, I don't really care too much about flying Pokemon, so, I don't know. <laughs> Taylo, I'll just run. Can't escape. Screw you, game. Screw you. Okay, it would be nice to train Ninkata in a place like this. Why is it not letting me do anything? Critical hit. This is ridiculous. I I can't run. I could have won by now. Jeez. But it failed. Okay, I'm just gonna... There we go. Finally, I figured I'd be able to escape after that time. But Oh, Mother, uh, mother Goose. <laughs> Freaking Whismers. I gotta find... I think it's maybe like a 20% chance I'll run into an Ninkata. But I don't know. I really have no idea. So. I'm gonna hope I run into it pretty quick here. Because I definitely want to catch one. Wismar! Wismar! Okay. I don't really care. I could just run around in this little patch of grass. But I don't know how I feel about that. So I'm gonna start running around in other patches of grass. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna... Oh my gosh, I wanted to avoid you! Study at school and I study on the way home too. I'm I'm pretty sure this is the route I'm trying to look at. I'm gonna look at it real quick to see if I can, uh... <laughs> actually... Yeah, this is definitely the place, so... I just checked on my little Pokedex app thing. Okay, can you... I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> Um, Shroomish, okay. Guess I'm forced to battle then. I'll just tackle, because why not? Oh, oh, perfect. This is why it would be nice to have a bug Pokemon, or a fire type, or something, anything, to make this a little easier. Now it's just going to absorb me all freaking day. And now it's a level 9 instead of like a level 4 or whatever it was before. And knowing this game, I'm probably going to be, like, paralyzed every turn. <laughs> and then it's going to... Oh, wait, did it just tackle me? It didn't even... Okay. I guess if it's going to tackle me, this battle won't be that hard, but... There we go. I should level up to level 15 here, so... Maybe if I get lucky... Okay, trying to learn Bide. Maybe I should do that. I'm going to see... <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to see what Bide does. Endures attack... For two turns and retaliate to double. That's kind of pointless, I think. Um, because you're absorbing, like, both the attacks. So why bother? <laughs> so I'm going to, uh, just not do that. Because <laughs> I don't care. Stop trying to learn Bide? Yes. I did not learn Bide. I, well, unless it's a really strong attack that's stronger than mine, it's kind of pointless. Because if it doesn't kill me, it's probably not going to kill them. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just stuff. Okay, I'm gonna avoid those guys for now, but I really want to get an Inkata here. So, and I'm pretty sure this is the only spot in the game where you can catch them. In fact, I'm like 99% sure 
because the Pokedex app said you can only catch them on Route 116, which is the route that I'm on, so I guess they're a rare catch too, which is why this is taking so long, but I got a, might have said like 20% chance, I have no idea, I hope it appears pretty quick here though, because I really want to catch you, Nincata. Um, come on. Just up here. Maybe if I walk, it'll be more likely. I have no... Okay, thank goodness. Level 7, too. That's good. Um, I think Shedinja doesn't have a gender, so... I might actually just throw a great ball. Uh, I don't want to, like, tackle it and kill it when, with one hit, so... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to just throw a great ball, because why not? Actually, I could throw the premier ball. <laughs> Yeah, screw it. I'm throwing the Premier Ball. It's gonna be useless anyway, so might as well. That was ridiculous. <laughs> wow, one of the weakest Pokeballs in the game, and I caught it. Wow. Um, makes its nest with a root of a mighty tree. Use using its whisker-like antenna, probes its surroundings. In the pitch black darkness of soil. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. I got a female Nincata, and now I can train it. So I'm gonna put that in my. I'm gonna go heal up and put it in my first slot. So, and then I'll come back here after and. Uh, let me open my thing. Okay, let me switch you two out. Now I have a female and a male Pokemon. I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure Shedinja uh, just. Like, I don't know. Aw, oh, dang it. Now I have to battle this guy. My Pokemon rule! Check them out. Okay. I don't know why there was a weird battle animation for that. I didn't think... Youngster Joey! There he is! <laughs> uh, I thought he had a Rattata, though, in, like, the um, second game. The one that constantly calls you. Scratch. Guess that's all I can use. Oh, dang it. Don't kill me, please. Okay. You'd think fighting type would be super effective against bugs, considering when you, like, slap a bug, it dies. <laughs> but my defense fell oh no let me scratch my way to victory scratch scratch come on scratch I want to beat a Pokemon with Nincata that's higher a uh, higher level than I am that'd be cool come on scratch scratch well, at least I have more than one Pokemon that I'm actually going to use right now this is the start of Shed Injure right now because that is my favorite Pokemon and I'm gonna be so excited to have it on my team finally because I haven't had one on my team for a, a while. I'm not even sure if I've ever had one on my team. But you know, I think I'm I know I had a Ninjask and I was like disappointed when it wasn't a Shed Injure, but I didn't know the rules that like you didn't you had to have a free Pokeball in your party or whatever and it, like you had to have a free slot too. <laughs> It doesn't evolve into both, like, under no circumstances. I guess, from what I've heard, anyway, you have to have an extra Pokeball in your slot, and, uh, that's u a unique evolution, because, um, apparently it just evolves into Ninjask. I, I don't know, it's kind of confusing how it works. It evolves into Ninjask, and then, like, that's the shedding, like, Ninkata is in, like, a cocoon or something like that and when it comes out as ninjas then the shed of its body is shed ninja and that's why it doesn't move because it's just shed skin <laughs> basically or exoskeleton <laughs> so i don't know and it's got a really creepy pokedex entry but it is my favorite pokemon mainly because of the wonder guard ability but um it's for me it's one of the hardest pokemon to beat because i can't freaking attack it with anything except for like fire type moves and like a couple other types um basically only super effective moves will hit if you guys didn't know that already wonder guard is like the sweetest um thing so i'm gonna go in here and start to battle people unless that was the only trainer in here okay there's more that's good i hope this guy doesn't want to double battle Oh, of course, they do want a double battle, so... My rock Pokemon need room to rampage! So I guess I'll be able to battle them at the same time. I didn't know that was going to happen, but... Youngster Tommy and Hiker Mark. Geodude and Geodude, that's great. So, I guess for now, I'm going to just water gun them. 
This is pretty good, actually. I'd rather have uh, this go on. Maybe I could just harden. That might be better. And then I'll um, water gun this other guy. So let's let's hope that kills him fast. Yep, that was super easy. Um, I love how Geodude has like rock muscles. Like that's I don't even know. Come on, Ninkata, I need you to level up so you can evolve soon. Okay. Wow, that did so much. Maybe I should just harden. Uh, please don't use. Oh wait. This makes a uh, fire type weekend or electric? Electric. <laughs> We're. I don't even have an electric Pokemon. What are you doing? And what's the point? You're. You're immune to electricity anyway. What? What is that going to do for you? <laughs> Mudkip use water gun. Let's hope this kill. It's a one hit kill. Yep. No problem. No problem. And I'm enjoying this game so far, guys. This is. This is nice. I. I'm enjoying. Okay, Ninkata is finally leveled up. Um. I think it takes to level 20 for it to actually fully evolve into uh, Ninjask and Shedinja, which is going to take quite a while, but we'll have this Ninkata on our team, and uh, maybe I'll use the Ninjask, because I guess Ninjask's speed is like insanely high, but apparently its other stats are crap, so I might just not use it. And basically the reason for Shedinja is its stats aren't great. But, um, it's HP stat especially. If you guys didn't know, Shedinja only has one HP, so if, uh, if any Pokemon hits you with anything that gets past Wonder Guard, you're dead, basically. So, um, by the way, guys, I heard about this thing called the, um, I forget, Nuzlocke Challenge, I think? And I think it might be fun to play through a Pokemon game doing that Nuzlocke challenge. Basically what you do is um, you, you start the game off and get your starter and everything and capture Pokemon. You have to nickname the Pokemon and if, you, if your Pokemon ever faints then you have to release it. So it's like a crazy insane challenge because let's say I my Mudkip fainted from some super effective move. Oh wow, I gotta go heal first, um, before I battle the gym leader, jeez. Okay, I 